As you see on the top, the CRAB criteria is still very relevant in myeloma because those are the major symptoms that our patients have to treat patients a bit earlier than that's, and not to wait until they already have uh, symptoms. Uh, they have We have invented or we have in established new um, myeloma defining events, as we call them. One is a plasma cell percentage in the bone marrow monoclonal plasma cells of more than 60%. And that's one thing that you have to be careful very rarely in, for example, patients with liver disease. They can have high plasma cell percentages, but those plasma cells are polyclonal. So to have a myeloma, it has to be more than 10% monoclonal plasma cells, being only kappa or only lambda, which are the two light chains that we have in, in these plasma cells. The free light chain ratio is the ratio of the serum free light chains. I see a lot of colleagues doing urine free light chains. The test is approved. It's not very reliable, to be honest. So I would rely rather of the um, serum free light chains 